okay, let's try this a second time. I tried to record it, and then my phone was like, what are you talking about? I'm not gonna record. So, hi -o. I only worked at Knott's Berry Farm today, so all my work stories are from Knott's Berry Farm. Also, I'm probably gonna go on a tangent about Haunted Mansion Holiday because it's on my mind. So, so first off, today I worked at Le Knott's Berry Farm, and... Not a whole lot happened today. It was a pretty, pretty good day, actually. Uh, I figured out a strategy for making the monsters less scary. Because I carry around light-up toys. And apparently, monsters are like cats. So that's a thing to know. So my strategy for selling today was going and just entertaining children. But I found sad children, or scared children, who were crying. And went and, like, hung out with them. <coughs> And showed them lightsabers and uh, cute bat necklaces and, and my light up bracelets because I, I got to pick my own basket today. So I put all of the pink things in my basket and was like, I'm going to go with being cutesy today. And so I was very cutesy today. And I found crying children and made them feel better and the parents bought things from me. Usually when I sold one thing, I sold one of everything in my basket. It was a really good day. So... That happened. One of my coworkers gave me a ride home from work so I didn't have to get a lift. And uh, yeah. this morning, one of my friends bought me a pizza. So I got pizza today. Pizza's good. So it's been a good day. Um, not everything about today was fantastic. Particularly internet drama happened. Like, not my internet drama, but somebody else's internet drama. So somebody in my roleplay group has this other person who she role plays with, and other person who she role plays with is kind of a manipulative and horrible person. And said other person got jealous that person in my group was role playing with other people in my group. And so manipulative gal was being all salty and stuff. And kind of like inserted herself into like part of the story. And I'm cool with that. I'm okay. I'm open with like interactions. But um, she said something extremely insensitive. Like a few days ago. She said her character said something extremely insensitive to my character. That you really wouldn't want to say to uh, anyone. So for a little bit of context. My character is somebody who is pretty... Uh, He's pretty depressed. He's also pretty awful, but he's pretty depressed. And previously in the storyline, he had had some uh, run-ins with, you know, um, very uncomfortable things. And what, what this other girl's character said that kind of just angered everybody in the community and was like the final straw for my friend was she had brushed off a past suicide attempt as just a slightly annoying personality trait, which that's a don't. If, if you ever talk to anybody, and this is just like in writing, something that you shouldn't like view as okay, you shouldn't go up to somebody who you know is depressed and who you know has hurt themselves or tried to hurt themselves and be like, okay, do you seriously want to die and don't get all suicidal on me? Don't ever say that to anyone. So that's what started off this whole thing. And so I kind of dropped the role play with her because I was like, um, you don't say that to anyone. I don't care how bad he is. You don't say that to someone. And so I dropped that role play, but she didn't. And she was, she was really upset about it, but she didn't drop it. And so th this manipulative person was like super salty that everybody else in the group was kind of like, you know, not okay with that and then she started like playing the victim and that's been going on for a few days and finally my friend who was a saint and an angel and a sweetheart finally kind of snapped and was like okay so we need to talk about this yeah snapping was we need to talk about this for the fifth time and so manipulative person started being like well it's just fiction which would you be okay with saying that to someone? And even if it's just fiction, would you really be okay with that being a representation of a character who you're supposed to be writing as a good person? 
or who you try to present as good. So when we, that, that sort of happened. And my friend, I think, is finally going to cut off said toxic person who thinks that it's okay to have the good guy, supposed good guy, say something like that to someone. So that's a thing. That's a thing. So uh, that was a tangent. Sorry, this is a little incoherent, but it's what's on my mind. So I, I'm just, I'm just rolling with it. Uh, what else has happened? So, so uh, yeah. In summary, um, if you say, if if you brush off suicidal tendencies as just a slightly annoying trait, people should cut you off. Just, just saying. Or at the very least, you should accept being called out because that's horrible. And that's not acceptable behavior and uh what what else what else has happened what else has happened recently oh yeah so one of my co-workers at um earl of sandwich said that he would buy me a popcorn bucket that i want because it is not gonna be for sale anymore by the time i get my uh by the time i get my id slash passport into the park i'm not going to get I'm not going to be able to get that popcorn bucket. So he's going to get it for me. And so I'm going to have this awesome cauldron popcorn bucket from Disneyland. And then I'm going to have to find a way to repay him for it. Probably through Zell. So there's that. Ah, my hair's just, my hair's just being annoying today. So there's that. I'm going to get a cauldron popcorn bucket. It's going to be fun. And... At the end of the month, my mom was like, hey, you still have that uh, two-day park hopper ticket, which I still have because I didn't use it when I planned on using it, and my brother has an annual pass. So my parents are going to come down for the last week of October, and they were like, we should have a family Disney day. So we're going to go on uh, the last week, of, um, last week of October. We're going to go to Disneyland, and that'll be fun, and I'll have a popcorn bucket by then. So I'll be able to put popcorn in my popcorn bucket. Okay, I'm excited. I like popcorn buckets. I kind of want the popcorn bucket from uh, Knott's Berry Farm too. It's really cute. Snoopy's head. You know what popcorn bucket I really want? I want the one from Tokyo Disney. That freaking beautiful light up tangled lantern. Ah, I want so much. Um, speaking of Disney. Inktober, I finally decided which stretching room portrait for which person I want to use for the stretching room portrait with the guy that's standing on dynamite that's really weird. I was like, I'm gonna draw it twice. <laughs> that's right. I couldn't decide between Frederick and Varian, so I was like, screw it. I'm drawing both of them. So, first one is gonna be Frederick, and I'm drawing him here. And it's such a weird picture. Like, that's such a weird portrait. Like, I don't even know how to like start deconstructing it. Like this guy presenting a thing but he's like frowning so like he's upset that he's presenting the thing and he's standing on a thing of dynamite with like vines around his legs and he's in his underwear for some odd reason and there's just nothing about this picture makes any form of sense like why is he in his underwear what what kind of plant is eating him why is he like on a thing of tnt like obviously he's on a thing of tnt because the haunted mansion is work but why is he in his underwear like like, wait, where's the guy's pants? What's up with him? Ugh, allergies. So, I'm doing the first one with King Frederick because he kind of looked like the guy. And, like, holding a paper, he's going to be, like, holding a scroll. And, like, I don't know what Frederick Beetle is. But, like, I'm going to, like, put some black rocks around it and stuff. And then for Varian, I was like, I just have to draw Varian standing on a thing of dynamite. Because we know he would. It's in character. He would have some sort of horrible explosive. And he just doesn't have the spatial awareness to realize that it's gonna blow up. <laughs> He's so special. He's a special dumb cookie. Oh, Tangle the Series Discord server. They have new emojis. And one of them is the truth cookie. And I really like it. So, yeah, there's that. Um... What else? What else? What else? Oh. Um. So I've gone on one tangent, but I, I went on the role play, role play thing tangent. I talked about the pizza. I talked about my, the haunted mansion. I am very angry with the haunted mansion right now. 
I'm always angry at the Haunted Mansion this time of year. More specifically, I'm angry with Mr. Jack Skellington. I'm very cross with him. Haunted Mansion Holiday should start in November. It's like, what is the deal with it? The most Halloween attraction at any dis at most Halloween attraction at Disneyland is this freaking why is it Christmas? Why is it not like where are my spooky ghosts? Spooky ghosts are all the Halloween is about. And then they just get rid of the spooky ghosts and make it all Christmas. Like freaking Mr. Skellington, wait a month. Just wait until November. Then like put out your like then, then, like, then mess up all the illusions in the Haunted Mansion to make it look tacky. So, as you guys can probably tell, I'm a bit of a Haunted Mansion elitist. Yes, I'm a Haunted Mansion elitist. I don't even know what I'm doing with my fingers. But, uh, yeah. I'm kind of mad at Mr. Skellington right now because he ruined my favorite park attraction, and it's not gonna be better until January. But, park attraction that I am excited about is Guardians of the Galaxy Monsters After Dark is heckin' awesome. So, I just have to wait until the end of October to go on it, and I'm not salty about that at all. I, I like, I like Monsters After Dark. I like Guardians of the Galaxy. Hot take, Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout is better than Hollywood Tower Hotel, Tower of Terror. See how many people try to shred me, try, try to rip me apart in the comments. Probably nobody, because nobody actually watches these. But like, you know, Mission Breakout, the Superior Ride. Um, do I have anything else that I need to go on a tangent about before I go to bed tonight? I have to start work again at 10.30 in the morning. I agreed to this turnaround. Freaking, I'm freaking nuts though, apparently. It's okay though. It's all good. I didn't have caffeine today. Kill me. It's okay though. I'm in a pretty good mood. I'm probably gonna stay in a good mood for the next couple of days unless something happens. Which hopefully nothing will happen. I just have to like finish up today's Inktober picture and then start on tomorrow's because time does not exist when you have two jobs. Also, anybody who gives up on Inktober because of time, I'ma just fight them because I got two jobs. Plus I got chores, plus I got, uh, what else do I got? I got two jobs, I got chores, I got several art projects, and I do commissions, and I'm still doing Inktober. Commission me. Commission me. I have a really fast turnout. And also I'm still doing Inktober. Inktober mostly happens in the break rooms, to be perfectly honest. Sometimes on the bus. So yeah, if I can do it, anyone can do it. You got this, empowerment. So um, yeah, in summary, my friends are uh, my friends who buy me pizza and give me rides home are awesome. My friend who is standing up for myself is awesome. Don't say mean things about people who might be having suicidal thoughts, even if they even if you don't think they are, don't do that. And uh, don't gaslight people. And also. Haunted Mansion is better without the holiday overlay, and Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout is better than Tower of Terror. Yeah, that, that's about it. Bye!